Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today's lesson is all about second position, or cross harp. So we're going to look at what it means and how we use it. If you'd like to delve deeper into positions, then I have a full course all about positions step by step, and there's a link in the description to that, as well as a free summary for this video. So second position is the most common position for blues. We're going to talk about why that is and what it actually means. So very briefly, what is a position first? Well, harmonicas are built to play in a specific key, one key. But it is possible to get them to play in other keys. And that's to do with context, to do with the style of music, to do with the textures or tones that you want to achieve on the instrument. So because this C harmonica is built to play in C major, it's great for major happy tunes. But what if I want to play blues music, where the scales we use and the licks and the riffs we want to use aren't built from the major scale? What can we do? Well, this is where positions helps us out. So we can actually kind of have a split from the key of harmonica, the key of the harmonica you're on, and then the key that you're playing in. So we've got this kind of difference, this clash between the two. And if we get it right, if we use the instrument right, this can actually be really, really useful. So for example, on a C diatonic harmonica, we can play in the key of G, and we can play G blues really well. And it's actually easier to play G blues on a C harp than it is to play C blues on a C harp. Because we've got C major, we haven't got the blues scale. Whereas this, the G blues scale is actually pretty easy to play on a C harp. So these are the notes. There's a couple of bends in there, but it's actually still easier than the C blues scale. So we're playing two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw bend, four draw, five draw, six blow. And that set of notes can build us loads of different cool bluesy stuff. And that's why it's really useful for blues and the most common way of playing blues. I should say that the position itself doesn't determine the scales or the melodies or the style of music that you play. It's just that certain positions lend themselves well to certain styles and scales. So second position lends itself well to blues. It lends itself well to that blues scale. But what the position is determining is not the scales or the styles. It's just telling you the home key, the home bass, the kind of safe return uh, to centre, to the tonal centre of that of the uh, key that you're in. So that tonal centre, that home bass, in second position, would be your two draw, your six blow, or your uh, nine blow. Also your three blow is the same note as your two draw. So that's a kind of the home uh, key for second position. But how do you actually work out second position? So we know that on a C harp we're in the key of G in second position, but what, why, why is that and how do we work it out? Well, you could just take your harmonica and find that two draw note and then you know that that's your second position key, but what if you need to know uh, what key you're actually playing in? Well, it's an interval of a fifth. Don't get scared, we're not going to go too deep into the theory, but from the key of C, the home key of the harmonica, to the key of G is an interval of a fifth. Similarly, on an A harmonica, if we go to an interval of a fifth, the key would be E, and that happens to be our two draw note on our A harmonica. So what an interval of a fifth means is if we start with the home key, the home note, C on a C harmonica, if we count up the C scale, C, D, E, F, G, the fifth note of that scale, the fifth degree of that scale, is G. And that tells us that's the home key 
for a second position. So we can do that starting on any note. So depending on which harmonica you have, then you can uh, count up to the fifth note of the scale. If you wanted to go the other way, from the key of the song to the key of the harmonica, you just count downwards. So you go G, F, E, D, C. And therefore you'd know, say you're playing a G blues, you're probably going to use a C harmonica. And again, you can do that with any scale, depending on which key you want to play in. If you need some help working out different positions, I'm going to include in the description beneath this a link to a full diagram with all different positions for all different keys of harmonica. There's also a great way of using the circle of fifths, which is a musical diagram that's used for various other things, but we can use it for working out different positions on, on all different keys of harmonica. It's a nice concise way of doing that. And I'll put a link in the description to a video that I have all about the circle of fifths if you want to learn more about that. So that's the basics of second position. I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps YouTube to know that you're enjoying what I'm doing and it means you'll get my free harmonica lessons every single week. I'm going to be back next week when I'll be teaching you about third position. It's really great and expressive and I can't wait to uh, tell you all about that. Remember there's a free summary of this lesson in the description and also I have a step-by-step -step premium course all about positions so do check that out via the link in the description as well. I'll see you very soon for another lesson. Until then, good luck with your practice. Cheers.